Hi everybody, welcome to Storytime with Fairfield County Library. My name is Messina and I am so excited for Storytime today. Before we get started though, I want to remind you that we are doing hybrid story times, which means on top of story times online here, we are also doing them in person at the library. The in-person version of these story times for the children's age group is at 4 p.m. on Wednesday. Okay, now that that's out of the way, are you guys ready for story time? This week, our theme is the fair. That means this week we're going to read some books about carnival games and fair food and thrill rides. Okay, our first book is The Roller Coaster Kid by Marianne Rodman, illustrated by Roger Roth and published by Viking. When Grandpa was my age, he rode a roller coaster 100 times in a row. My father's company picnic was at Oceanside Park. Grandpa tells me as he shows me an old newspaper clipping, all us kids got as many free tickets as we wanted, and I wanted a hundred. The roller coaster kid, says the newspaper's headline over a picture of Grandpa, eight years old. He's standing in front of the big coaster, the whipper. Except for his clothes, he looks just like me. They are just alike, except for one thing. I don't like coasters. And that dipping and sipping and flipping makes me throw up. Not Grandpa. Every summer, we visit Grandma and Grandpa in Oceanside. We jump in the waves and find shells. We feed the gulls and fly kites. And we go to Oceanside Park. Grandpa and I wait in line for the whipper. This time, I won't be afraid. This time, I'll be the roller coaster kid. Then I change my mind. You don't know what you're missing, Zach, Grandpa says. Next time, Grandpa, I say. But next time, it happens again. Never you mind, Grandma says. Let's ride the big wheel. Grandma and I like the same things. Seagulls and seashells and strawberry ice cream. But most of all, we love the big wheel. Easy and quiet, we sail up to the sky. Way up high, with gulls all around. I am not scared. I am braver than brave. Down below, the whipper looks as safe as a tiny toy train. Next time we come, I'll ride the whipper, I say. When the time is right, you'll face your fear, Grandma says. But that time never comes. I'll never be the roller coaster kid. Next summer comes, but everything's different. Grandma's gone. Grandpa. We jump in the waves and gather shells. We fly kites and feed gulls, all our usual things. But without Grandma, it's just not the same. Grandpa sits on the beach and feeds the gulls. He fixes our kite tails and carries the shell pails. But he's not like the old Grandpa. Not at all. He misses Grandma, and I miss her too. We know, say my parents, but don't say that to Grandpa. Talking about Grandma will just make him sadder. Let's go to the park, I say. That'll cheer Grandpa up. No, say my parents. He needs peace and quiet. The whipper, I think. That's what he needs. Then, one day, we're alone, Grandpa and I. Grandpa, I say, can we go to the park? He shakes his head no. We'll ride the whipper. I'm oh, sorry. We'll ride the whipper, I say really fast. This time I'll ride it. I really will. 
Grandpa smiles. Not like he used to, but a smile all the same. All the way to the park, my stomach hurts. I'm facing my fear, but I sure don't feel brave. There's a super long line in front of the whipper. Oh, let's come back later, I say. Like never, I think. Nonsense, says Grandpa. We'll wait. We stand and wait for our turn. Before I know it, we're getting on. Hop in, says Grandpa. Clank! The seat bar slams down, trapped on the whipper, and I can't escape. I close my eyes super tight. Clickety tick, clickety tick. The coaster climbs slowly, so slowly. Clickety, clickety, clickety. Higher and higher. For half a second, we hang at the top, then whoosh, my screens fly away and my stomach does too. Hey, this isn't so awful. It's almost fun, but there's more. Clickety tick, clickety tick, up the next hill. Clickety, clickety, clickety. Then... Whoosh! We fly around curves. We fly upside down, faster and faster. Down, up, around, over. Clickety, whoosh, clickety, whoosh. I keep my eyes shut. Then it's over. Hey, Grandpa, I tug at his arm. I rode the whipper. Yes, Zach, you did, says Grandpa. So I'm the roller coaster kid? I wait for the big Grandpa smile. I guess, says Grandpa. He doesn't smile. Let's go. My plan didn't work. I didn't help Grandpa at all. We head for the exit. I walk slower and slower and get madder and madder. Didn't he know how scared I was? Why didn't he say you were really brave, Zach? I miss Grandma. Grandpa stops, and I know I've said that out loud. What did you say, Zach? Oh no, I made him feel worse. I want to say nothing, but that's not the truth. Grandma, I say. So do I, he says. If Grandma were here, she would say I was brave, I tell him, for riding the whipper and facing my fears. She would at that. Grandpa smiles his old smile. He's not mad or sad, so I keep talking. She'd say, life's not so scary when you face your worst fear. Grandpa looks at me for a moment and says, your grandma was right. You are one brave boy, Zach. We smile at each other. More like Grandpa and I. How about some strawberry ice cream? Asked Grandpa. Okay, I say, but let's fight the whipper one more time. And this time, I keep my eyes open. That was the Roller Coaster Kid. What'd you guys think? Do you like roller coasters? 
All right, our next book is Night Sky Wheel Ride by Sherry Finch, illustrated by Yayo, and published by Trade Wind Books. Nighttime falls on the fairgrounds. Darks glitter sparks a dare. Are we big enough this year, Mama? Are we brave enough, brother? Sister, are you ready to fly? Standing in line, we wait, wait, wait. At last, we're the ones at the front of the gate. Are we big enough this year, Mama? Are we brave enough, brother? Sister, are you ready to fly? First stop, cotton candy shop, round, round, round. A sugar cloud spun melt sticky quick on the tips of our tongues. Are we big enough this year, Mama? Are we brave enough, brother? Sister, are you ready to fly? There it is, the wheel, the wheel. The whirling wheel, the squealing wheel. We are big enough, Mama. We are brave enough, Brother. Yes, we are ready to fly. This way, hop up, knee knock, rockety rock, squiggle sway, creak, squeak, rickety, cratcheting, up, up, up. A uh, one, a uh, two, a uh, whoop de doo, let the spinning begin. Wahoo! Wow! Upside down, hanging on tight, up down, inside, night's wild wheel ride. Sky is ground, is sky is ground, is sky is ground, is round, round, round. Then stop, swinging, swaying, staying up top, the stopped Ferris wheel. Dizzy days, we gaze up, feel the moon's breath on our faces, soft as dandelion butts. Nope, don't look down, not yet, brother. Let's play a game of dot to dot with Orion stars instead. See out to sea, sister. Hush, shush, shush, shush. Can you hear the mermaids murmur? Beluga whales sing? Feel the whirling stir of every little humming phosphorescent thing? Now blink, wink eyes to the ground. The people way down there are dancing jelly beans. Strings of light slither in and out, zigzag, crisscross, and glowing caterpillar rows. 
Hello. Mama, can you see us? Mama, are you there? Mama, aren't you brave? Flying way up here. Back and forth we swing sway. This away, wish way, sleepy eyed night sky, rockabye. Too soon the wheel begins to groan, our bellies flip flop, somersault, cart by cart, squeak, creak, we drop back down, down, down. Mama, we did it! Mama, we flew! Sister and brother, mothers and fathers, and all of the others in the worldwide whirling world, we are busy with the dizzy reeling, fuzzy with the Ferris wheel feeling. Now and forever, a part of the sky. All right, that was Night Sky Wheel Ride. What did you guys think? Have you ever been on a Ferris wheel? All right, everyone, thank you for coming to story time. Now, just because we're done reading does not mean we have to be done with story time. If you come down to the library this week, you can pick up a story time kit, which is a fun-filled activity kit that goes with the books you read today. Each kit comes with a coloring sheet, a craft, and a tasty recipe that you can make with your grown-up. This week for our craft, you get to make a Ferris wheel. It doesn't move, but you get to decide where all of the little cars go. To get a kit, you need to come to the Fairfield County Library and look for some crates in the children's section. Now we have two crates, one for the Monday story times and one for Wednesdays. So you wanna make sure to grab the right kits or you could end up with something completely different. The kits for this story time are in the children's crate. They are the blue ones. We have new kits every week, so make sure to check back in every time we do a new story time. All right, everyone, thank you for joining me for story time. Once again, my name is Miss Nina and I hope to see you in the library this week to pick up a story time kit. It's time to say goodbye, but I look forward to seeing you all next time. Bye!